what is up boys and girls you know who it is it's king demps and we're just going to take a quick look at a lovely clutch farley pulled off in the astralis versus team spirit series obviously astralis did not go on to win this one but it doesn't mean this clutch wasn't a banger now my boy farley is in a 1v3 bomb going down he knows they're all on site obviously that's a fairly standard kill he peaks the first angle that you can kind of peek from this position over here towards graffiti and he gets the kill it's a nice little thick flick it is a quick shot worth noting that he had right eye advantage on dexter there so he has a slight advantage in taking that duel on dexter's position but it's the first duel he needs to win and he does so now He's obviously got two more to find, and this is not an easy clutch with the AWP, even though the other two are low. Uh, this is why I think he, he uses the 5-7 partially during this clutch. And what you're going to see here is a really, really nice uh, nice play. That play for information, right? And then he turns to see if the swing comes from the teammate. So obviously he realizes that the person who he has just seen underneath heaven, down in some people call that pit, he realizes that that player can't kill him. So the thing that is going to kill him in this situation is if the teammate swings and peaks. What happens? His teammate swings to peak and so he gets the frag. So, so far, what do we see from Farley in this clutch? One, he gets the first one. Just a solid peak from Graffiti. Clears the first angle. Uses that right side right as well. Second one, really, really intelligent stuff to jump for that information. And then not only to do that, but to then look for the swing from Team Spirit Siren, who is obviously Majesty's teammate in this scenario. Now, the last bit of the clutch that we're going to see and the last nice little play that Farley does is watch how he changes his elevation here. That is really, really nice jumping onto those sandbags. It just slightly changes the angle that Majix has to worry about. And it allows Farley to get the clutch in, get a favorable duel. And if we actually look, he only ended this off with 44 ADR. But this is a huge amount of impact that he had on this round. Gave Astralis a humongous half. 10-5 is all looking better than 9-6. And yeah, just a fantastic clutch from Farley. Showing his ability in those situations. So just some really nice little pieces of play. Some nice little maneuvers that helped him win that clutch. Make sure you take some of those into your games because it is those little things that make the difference between a good clutcher and a great clutcher. Kingdoms out.